Good morning and welcome to our midweek meditation moment, a touchstone moment with the divine. As some of you know, I love children's books. I used them extensively when I was a youth minister, especially on mission trips in our times of devotion. Children's books get us creatively thinking and begin us in conversations. I've used children's books most often as cards when giving a gift. Uh, the cost of cards frustrates me and is short-lived, but a book you can hold on to forever or pass it on to another person. So this children's book is the book that I will be giving my daughter as she graduates high school next Tuesday, and it will be my card to her. It is entitled, When I Pray For You by Matthew Paul Turner and illustrated by Kimberly Barnes. And I love this story and I hope you will too. As a moment of devotion, as we pray for all those whose seasons are changing because of graduations or new opportunities. So, when I pray for you. From the moments I saw you, I started to pray. Big prayers and small ones, I sent God's way. I prayed as I held you when you sat on my lap. I prayed while we rocked as you peacefully napped. As you took your first steps when you started to run, as I pushed you on swing sets or we skipped in the sun, I prayed you felt safe, full of joy, and content. That when I whispered, I love you, you knew what I meant. When you said your first word, repeating what you heard, when you moved like a cow or tweeted like a bird, when you giggled out loud or made yourself proud, to God I said thank you, and to you, I said, wow. As I watched you pretend all alone or with friends, I prayed over you again and again. Because when I pray for you, God knows this is true. Every word I whisper is a prayer for me too. At the moment I hear you jump out of bed, I start praying that God puts good thoughts in your head. I pray when you're smiling and when you feel sad. I pray when you're sick, embarrassed, or mad. When you are kicking a ball or twirling in place, when I know what you're thinking by the look on your face, I pray you go strong, have passion, and fight, and stand up for what's good for all of your might. I pray heaven protects you, that you're generous and kind, that your brave little spirit never ceases to shine, that you believe in yourself and follow what's true, that your confidence grows just as fast as you do. As I drive you to school while you splash in a pool, as you challenge a friend to a lightsaber duel, when you open your eyes to a birthday surprise, when the joy on your face cannot be disguised, I pray you love well, that the light in you swells, that the story God writes is the one that you tell. Because when I pray for you, I imagine God's view and pray all that God sees comes alive inside you. When suddenly it seems you've gotten so tall, when you've grown up so much that my lap's way too small, 
When you're glued to a screen or your bedroom's unclean, when you no longer a child, but not just a teen. I'll pray when you're hyper obnoxious or chill. I'll pray when you're chatty and cannot sit still. When you're running relays or performing school plays, or you're somewhere in the middle of a garage band phase. When you know all the answers or just think that you do, when you find out the hard way, you know less than you knew. I'll pray you choose hope should you ever face fear and seek wisdom with patience when the pathway's unclear. That you will love others, whether strangers or friends, with the same kind of love that God feels for them. When you break from your shell to stand up for yourself, and I realize you don't ask me for my help. I'll pray and I'll cheer. I'll probably shed a tear and hope that you know if you need me, I'm here. Because when I pray for you, no matter what we go through, the dreams that you dream, I'll be dreaming them too. At the moment you realize it's time to explore, I'll pray God gives you wings, and like an eagle, you'll soar. I'll pray where you go that wherever you land, you'll find purpose and meaning and a role in God's plan. That you'll know who you are and like what, and like what you'll do and love yourself fully as God wants you to. I'll pray you keep shining, that God keeps refining, that your story reflects what in you God's designing. That you'll give and you'll share with compassion and care, that how you live life will, to God, be a prayer. Because when I pray for you, I pray, I pray all that you do brings love and brings light and helps the world shine like new. The end. May we hold that prayer for one another and for all our children and youth who are graduating and going on to new dreams and new hopes. I look forward to this time together again next Wednesday. God bless.